Hello, fourth graders. Welcome to our robotics class, week 25. Um, so this week, we are actually going to start something hands-on, your first engineering challenge. Um, before we get to the challenge, I just want to quickly review. So we have spent probably the past four or five weeks learning about engineers and the engineering design process. And this has really been just basic information um, to build your up your knowledge. So that way now when you start working on the challenges, um, you can think through all of the steps in the design process and you can really just have fun um, putting it into action, right? Everything that you learned. Um, so what did I wanna say? So I just want to review really quick. Um, so we know about engineers and thank you to these videos. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. I feel like they did such a great job with these short little video snippets. Um, way better job than I would ever be able to do explaining these concepts. And she was using visuals and pictures and it was really great. So I hope that you guys enjoyed those videos. So we learned what is an engineer? Um, somebody who wants to know how and why things work, right? A person who designs and builds things to solve specific problems. Um, and we learned about different types of engineers, right? So there's engineers in like every industry and even industries that we don't even know about yet, engineers will be having jobs. So these are jobs of the future. Um, and then we talked about the engineering design process, right, which is pretty much a method of thinking um, where you have to come up with steps, right, to create an idea, and then your end goal is your working product, right? Um, and we looked at the steps. Um, so we know it is a loop process that you go through. You go through the steps. If it doesn't work, you make adjustments. You go through the steps again. You go through the steps again. You go through until you get something that meets your goal and it actually works, right? And that's what we were learning in the videos. So the steps are ask, right? We define a problem, imagine, develop possible solutions, plan, right? Design your solution, build, build a prototype, test, test it out, and improve, evaluate, does it work, right? These are our steps. And so I won't go through the steps in detail because we already did that, but we are actually going to do this um, this week. So engineering design challenges. Are you ready for our first design challenge? Um, and I'm gonna tell you what it is. The foil boat challenge. You're going to have to design a boat out of aluminum foil that will stay um, floating, it won't sink, um, and hold the most number of pennies to stay afloat. So you will need for this um, challenge some aluminum foil and some pennies, and you will need to get go to your kitchen sink and put the little drain stopper in the sink fill it up with about six inches of water to test out your aluminum foil boat. So here, I, I just put some pictures of some kids that design boats and what theirs looked like, but yours can look any way that you want it to look. And I'm actually gonna, let me pull up the sheet because I have some questions that I want you guys to think about. Okay, so everybody's gonna get one of these sheets. And in order to get credit for this challenge, you will need to send me this sheet with the questions answered, along with a picture or a video of your foil boat. Um, so the supplies that you need, either one piece of 12 inch by 12 inch foil regular strength, or if you have the heavy duty, then do a seven inch by seven inch piece. Um, you need 50 coins, pennies are the ones that we're looking for. Um, and you, your boat, you could hold more than 50 pennies. So I don't know if you don't have pennies um, and you wanna try something else, but pennies is really what we're looking for. So hopefully you do have some pennies at home. Um, and then you need your kitchen sink with some water, um, six inches of water. So you're gonna use your piece of foil and you're gonna build a boat. 
and your goal is to get at least 50 pennies in it. Um, if, it if you get less or more, that's great. Um, more would be great. Um, you're gonna test out your boat by filling a sink with at least six inches of water. Put your boat in the sink. So you put your boat in the sink first and then you start dropping the coins in one by one. And then you see how many it can hold before it starts to sink, right? So what you wanna do before you actually do this is start going through the steps. So step one, define your question. What are the criteria and the constraints? So the criteria, what does the structure have to be? It has to be a boat made out of aluminum foil. Constraints, something that limit the design. Well, it's made out of aluminum foil. So, I mean, that could limit it depending on how you fold and design it. Step two, you're gonna research and brainstorm solutions. So list some ideas here of how you're, you might design your boat. You might even wanna sketch, well, actually that's step three, sketch some ideas for your boat. So maybe like, I wanna make it square. I wanna make it have two sides. I wanna make it oval. I wanna make it look like a pirate ship. I don't know, draw some ideas. Develop a prototype. So now you're actually gonna build it. Is it a solid design? I don't know, test it out and see then test it and then what changes will you make to it? So maybe you test it and it only holds 10 pennies and then you play around with it and you test it again and you get 30 in. Um, and then step six, share your solution, use pictures to let us know. So it would be nice if you could please send us a picture or even if you wanna get a quick video clip and send it to us. Um, I would love to share these next week in our video, but I would need you to send it to me um, probably by Monday night because I make the video the day before on Tuesday. So if you want me to include the video or picture of your aluminum foil um, boat, then you need to send it to me by Monday night, by next Monday night. Um, I wanna show you guys actually a quick video. So hang on one second, let me get it. Okay, so let's watch a video of this, the challenge, and she does a good job explaining it. Um, so let me, hang on a minute, start that for you guys. Hi, I'm Shannon with the USS Constitution Museum. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a tinfoil boat. And I also will set you a challenge on how much weight your boat will be able to hold. So come on, let's get started. So just like Joshua Humphreys uh, back in 1794, the shipbuilder and designer of the USS Constitution, we're gonna make some design decisions while we build our ships. Uh, so you may wanna think about, is it gonna be long? Is it gonna be short? Maybe it's gonna be a little wide. Maybe the sides will be shorter. Maybe you didn't make the sides higher. Those are all gonna affect how your ship may float and be successful at sailing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start building, and I think I know what a ship will look like. And you go ahead and, and use your imagination and think how you would want your ship to be designed and be a successful battleship. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and test it. So if it doesn't work out, that's okay, because the Constitution itself took three attempts to get launched. So keep trying again and again. If you need to redesign, pick it out and do it again. So, my ship is floating, so that is a good start. I don't see any water coming in, and it's ready for some weight. Start counting our pennies here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, it's looking good so far. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Wow, 20 pennies so far. I think I'll keep going to see how much my ship can hold. Remember, a working battleship like USS Constitution uh, needs a lot of crew members to make it work effectively and efficiently. It had over 450 sailors. And it also, to support those sailors, would need a lot of weight added to that to support their missions or their sails. We're thinking 50,000 pounds of water for the sailors, 84,000 pounds or so of bread or ship's biscuit, and don't forget the weight of the guns. The guns itself, or cannons, um, are gonna be about 5,000 pounds each. So lots of weight added to this ship. So we need to make sure in our engineering that the ship can hold that weight. 
So let's go ahead and add some more. And you go ahead at home and add some more weight too and see just how much weight your ship can hold. For more fun, please visit our website at USSCM.org. Okay, so hopefully that just helped give you a little bit a better idea, a visual, right? Because she was folding it and she came up with the design. She's putting the pennies in. Um, so you could see how it all is supposed to work. Um, so you guys can try this at home. Everybody should have aluminum foil at home. Um, hopefully pennies. If you don't have pennies, try and use some other coins that you have um, just for the sake of trying out the challenge. But I like how she brought up, you know, imagine if you were an engineer and you were designing a ship and it needed to hold a certain amount of weight. And you're thinking about it has to have all these people on it and equipment and things, right? And so how would you have to keep adjusting your design um, so that it could support the weight of whatever it is that, you know, the goal was there for the purpose of the ship? Um, and that's a real job. So I know we're just using aluminum foil here and this is just for, you know, you guys are doing this for fun to really just try a challenge, but the concepts and the ideas are similar to really what real engineers use. Um, so again, in order to get credit for this, um, you do need to send me this sheet with your answers. So you can type them in, um, you can print this and write them in and draw it, whatever you wanna do, just send it to me. And then you also need to send me a picture or a video of your um, completed boat. So it holding all the pennies and everything. And if you wanna take a quick video of you kind of putting the pennies in and we could show that in our class, we could show the video, that would be fun. Um, and I can show the pictures too. Um, so have fun with this. This is your first real engineering challenge this week. Um, and I'll be looking forward to seeing all the pictures and getting it, um, getting all of your videos and pictures and things and hearing how it went. Um, and hopefully you'll have fun with it, okay? All right, guys, so we'll see you next week. Have fun with your uh, flow boat challenge. Bye, guys.